very important for me to, to be here defending my title. One thing I've learned over the years is not, not to get complacent going into a competition. Um, I've done it in the past where I've gone into a competition sort of half asleep, you know, not, not really that bothered, and then, you know, I've nearly lost. I've come into this, I've trained as hard as I can, like I would for any competition, like World's Strongest Man or Europe's, uh, and I'm here to win, you know, I'm taking it really seriously, so um, there definitely be, won't, won't be any relaxing from me. The final, and this car roll features Aaron Page, second in the 2015 England Strongest Man competition, currently in an elimination position, as is the man he is facing off against, Mark Steele from West Yorkshire, currently propping up Group A. So both of these athletes looking for a strong performance in the car roll event. And at the starter's whistle, both men explode into the car. Mark Steele, well, he made a good pickup, but he's lost some momentum. No such trouble for Aaron Page. He kept the momentum going and has completed the first roll of the car around and to grip through the car for the second roll. Mark Steele struggling mightily as he attempts to get the second roll underway. Now Aaron Page finds the car coming back towards him, but he shoved it over, completes the second roll and touches the board to stop the clock. Mark Steele behind him, but a good performance by Aaron Page, one that he needed as he came into that event in fifth place. Both athletes bouncing back well after struggling to get to grips with the first event in the truck pool. Well, I know that's every strongman's dream to roll a car. How was that for you guys? Uh, <laughs> I'd be lying if I said it was easy. <laughs> So what happens then? You, you, you obviously, is it, where's the hardest bit? Is it getting over oh, the... Getting, sure? You're getting almost got caught <laughs> seeing that no man's land. Luckily enough, I had the strength to get it over, get back to the board. Now, luckily, oh. we're really hot on, uh, on, on risk with these things because that's quite a dangerous event, isn't it? Did you ever feel at any point like it could have gone the wrong way? No, well, I did. <laughs> it's strong, man, you know what I mean? Anything happens in strong, man. So, but I felt good, felt comfortable. Well, you both got it both ways. Well done. Looking forward to the next event. Cheers, thank you Cheers James. Cheers. Thank you. Well done. Well, this next heat of the car roll event is an all Welsh affair featuring the current strongest man in Wales, Mark Jeans. 27 years of age. And he's going up against his compatriot, Chris Melling. He finished fourth in this year's Welsh strongest man event. Both of these men occupying the final two qualification places in Group A after the opening truck pull event. Terrific use of the feet by Jeans, gets him to the car first and he's getting to grips with the handle. Just finds himself a little bit stuck now, as does Melling. But now Jeans gets the momentum back in his favour and completes the first car roll. Little stutter steps to get himself around to the opposite side. Meanwhile, Melling having real difficulty completing the first roll. But Jeans, well, he's not going to beat the time of 24.78, laid down by Aaron Page in the first heat, but he could well get two completed revolutions, just battled as the car came back towards him, sprints towards the boards, gets 32.53 in his favour. And meanwhile, the second revolution is proving to be a real challenge for Chris Melling, the man from Neath in Wales, Struggling to get to grips with this is a 90 second time limit, remember? And even though the rain has relented, it's a treacherous surface underfoot. Just look at the manner in which his footing gave way beneath him as he attempted to haul the car up onto two wheels to begin the second roll. He's being encouraged now by Mark Jeans. There are less than 30 seconds of his allocated 90 left in which to complete the second revolution. You can see that safety stand in position, making the pickup slightly easier from the front end. But no, Chris Melling has called it a day. One completed revolution for him. Mark Jeans currently in third in the car roll. Wales' strongest man. You made that look easy. How was it for you? <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a shock, to be honest. Uh, I've never done it before, so I'm glad I got two flips on it. But I think I need to keep the momentum going, which on the second, on the way back, I didn't do it. but. Managed to get the two flips. I think I'm in third now, so it's happy. Top four every event and through to day three. Keep it up. Thanks. Cheers. Great stuff. The final heat of the car roll event in Group A features the two athletes who are currently leading proceedings. John Pollock, fresh from his magnificent effort in the truck pool. But Eddie Hall, the defending champion was an imperious form in that opening event, obliterating the entire field. 
So looking for a similarly impressive performance here. So the whistle gets the athletes underway. Look at how easily Ed Hall got to group with that bar to get the car rolling. But neck and neck with him is John Pollock. John Pollock just 5 feet 10 inches tall, 115 kilograms. And he is going head to head, toe to toe with one of the strongest men in the world. Pollock's got himself out to an advantage, completes a second roll, but he's not touched the board. Eddie Hall, his experience comes to the fore. He touches the board before for John Pollock, who began celebrating rather prematurely. But in his haste to celebrate, he forgot to sprint towards the board and stop the clock. So it's Eddie Hall who steals the victory. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe below. And let's see some great comments of what you'd like to see. And if you want to go to an Ultimate Strongman show, get your tickets, ultimatestrongman.tv, and we'll see you there.